What's up Cubers? This is Kevin and today I've got an awesome puzzle to show that I picked up at this past weekend's WCA speed cubing competition. I was able to meet up with Cameron Brown from Speed Cube Shop and get a few products from him so here they are. The first thing is going to be this speed cubing mat. It's really high quality. It kind of feels like a computer mouse trackpad and I'll probably be using this in some of my videos with a little bit smaller puzzles but today I've got something a little bit bigger. So without further ado, the topic of today's video is the Petaminx. This is a puzzle I've wanted for the longest time, but I could just never shell out the cash to get it. But finally I bit the bullet and I now own the Petaminx and I cannot be more happy. This puzzle is absolutely massive. So let me just compare it to a Mega Minx here. It just dwarfs it. And you would think with something like this that is close to a thousand pieces that the turning would be a little rough, but that is not the case at all. This thing just turns smooth. Every single layer is amazing. It does have to be aligned just like most higher order puzzles, but once it's aligned, this thing just turns so smoothly. I have not lubricated or done anything to this yet. I still remember when Jason Smith made the original Petaminx which was just ridiculous and no one ever would have thought that this thing would be mass produced but I think it's incredible that MFA as well as Moyu has been producing these massive puzzles like the 13 by 13 because you know this just allows people to get their hands on some really great pieces of engineering design. The stickers on this puzzle look really nice. It has the standard MFA Shangshao dodecahedron color scheme and I've had none of the stickers peel so far with a couple hours of play I've had with this except for these little tiny triangle pieces right here these do peel a little bit but they sent extra so that's totally fine and it's such a small sticker so it's something to be expected it's just crazy to think that someone had to sticker this thing all by hand and had to assemble this puzzle I'm definitely gonna have to give this a scramble pretty soon and maybe I'll do a time lapse with the solve Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.